and welcome back to Dicebreaker, or should we say Dungeon Breaker? Because oh. we're doing D&D &D and that's what we refer to our D&D &D series as. Um, my name is Johnny, I am the head of video at Dicebreaker and I'm going to be GMing uh, this Motley crew as, as per usual. Uh, Motley crew, please introduce yourselves. Starting oh with... Wheels! Me, me again. <laughs> Hello, I'm Wheels. I'm one of the video producers who works with Johnny on youtube.com for test Dicebreaker, the channel that you're already watching. I'm playing a Kenku wizard called Fizz, uh, who is addicted to potions and has almost killed himself in the last session. <laughs> there you go. Dean Abdu, go! Hello, I am Dean Abdu, video producer for Readpub, all of Readpub. I'm video producing everywhere. Uh, and in Dungeon Breaker, I play Fareed, a wood elf fighter, who's uh, pretty pretty fabulous. That's um, I'm, I'm into it. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Agreed. Mm, we're all into it. Has, <laughs> has quickly become the sex symbol of this group. <laughs> <laughs> we needed one, to be fair. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean... <laughs> Uh, I'll go next. Not a huge amount to choose from. <laughs> uh, hello, I'm Alex Lollies. I'm also one of the video producers on Dicebreaker. Um, I'm playing Miss the uh, Tabaxi Bard. I'm a little bit stupid, but I mean well. And I'm not dead or almost dead, unlike a lot of the rest of the group. <laughs> Speaking of dead or almost dead, <laughs> <laughs> I am Matt Jarvis. Uh, I'm editor in chief of Dicebreaker. I am playing Morboss, the Tiefling Cleric. And I am, st I believe, stabilised in a bush, but not in a good way. Just kind <laughs> of like... You've all been there, Matt. You've all been stabilised yeah. in a bush. Who's, yeah, who's never gone to a festival without having to be stabilised <laughs> inside of a bush? And I'm Alex Meehan, a staff writer for Dicebreaker.com. And I play a character called Tim the Goblin, who is currently fairly okay. He's just hanging out, as he often does. As he often does. Catching some rays. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you uh, need a little reminder, um, well, if you need a big reminder, go back and watch the other videos. But if you need a little reminder, our heroes <laughs> have been dispatched by Yinigu, uh, one of the Lords of Hell, to go steal a hammer from Baphomet, uh, the Prince of Beasts. They uh, last time made their way towards uh, his palace, the Lictyon, through the enormous labyrinth uh, that protects him. Uh, and, well, let's just say that it, it got a little bit spicy. Two of our... Well, th one of our heroes was thrown clean over the maze, uh, smashing into the wall of the palace. Uh, one was punted like a <laughs> rugby ball, uh, and another one was uppercutted. Uh, mm -hmm. So the, the, the latter two, needless to say, are in quite bad shape. Uh, yeah. Meanwhile, Tim the Goblin... Um, Amelia, uh, Montebank, and Mist on the mountain just sort of got in a dinghy and just had a little poodle down the river. Um, I wouldn't call it a poodle. It was more of a kind of <laughs> okay, speedboat yeah. sort of experience. Yeah, no, that's fair. But anyway, all of our adventurers find themselves, or, or not if they're unconscious, just outside of the Lictyon uh, by some bushes. They have made it to the palace all that remains now is to infiltrate it, steal an incredibly valuable relic from under the nose of one of the Lords of Hell, and then get back to one of the other Lords of Hell and just hope everything goes fine. So that shouldn't be a problem at all. Um, Sounds easy. So we kind so of, we we cut back in as a sort of Mist and Tim are kind of carrying bottles of soda pop uh, that were kindly <laughs> provided by Yinigu. Um, over to the bank where they see Fareed with um, just a pile of adventurers that are unconscious. <laughs> uh, they, thus does uh, this particular episode begin. So is oh, our... My goodness, our uh... Sorry, Marbus and Fizz are unconscious, are they? Yeah, yeah they're unconscious yeah. stacked on top of one another. Okay, cool. Uh, I... Are you two okay? Like, what happened? I saw you flying off and assumed that you mutually agreed with our big friend over there to have some sort of trip, but now... Are they alive? They're fine. Don't worry about them. They'll, 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 they'll you know, just need to brush it off, you know, and then, then they'll be back on their two feet. 
We've been stabilised, right? <laughs> you have been stabilised, but we're not currently. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no uh, if if I've learned one thing as a GM, it's it's very bad form to make people start a session with death saving throws. It sets a very <laughs> bad tone. Uh, no, Farid successfully stabilised you. So should I be in zero hit point territory or something? I believe you have one hit point, but you're still unconscious. Got it. Okay. So um, I would like to poke uh, Fizz. <laughs> Just like in the face yep. region, trying to <laughs> trying to get him to wake up, see if he's okay. Just in the face <laughs> region. <laughs> yeah. 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 Neck, that's fine. It's in the region of the face. <laughs> there's no there's no big reaction. He certainly doesn't seem to be waking up, but there's a fluttering under his eyelids that definitely suggests that he is irritated and that he has an inkling as to who is doing this to him. I'd like I'm to having like, a really annoying dream. <laughs> I'd like to lean up like right into his face, like like as a, our eyeballs are almost touching, I'm so close. And I just wanna whis oh <laughs> I just wanna whisper Fizz 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 What is it what does it take for me to wake up? <laughs> That'll do it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I I think I jolt awake and immediately slap what's ever in front of me. Like <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna say you don't need to 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 roll for that or anything. You just you get buffeted around the face with a bunch of feathers uh, missed. <laughs> uh, more boss, um, this this sort of uh, this yeah, wild Tim flailing above over. you will wake you up as well. Okay. Tim <laughs> wants to go over to more boss before he wakes up okay. and say to him, "More boss, come on now, it's time to get up. I know you had a nice sleep, but we've got to get moving." He's gonna like gently try and move, like like rock him away. <laughs> Oh, I'm just rescuing a cat. Uh, the cat oh. needs to go. Oh, oh. <laughs> My God, what are you doing to me? Matt, I think oh. we, we both wake up like mid cuddle with each other, not really. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> Birdman, for God's sake, have you no shame? <laughs> no, we've established that. <laughs> you seem so peaceful asleep. Is for is for Reed jealous of this of this cuddling? Going on. I mean, I'm just proud that I managed to save their lives, to be honest. So, <laughs> yeah, in fairness, you you've done a pretty good job. You feel quite good about yourself. Um, Amelia says, uh, "This is all very touching, but um, should we perhaps take some cover and try and restore ourselves a, a, a little bit?" Yes, um, fine yeah. idea. Those those bushes seem to have. Uh, a convenient entrance or two. I um, oh, I crawl into the closest bush and curl up. Okay. Um, the the sort of do you find a a bunch of bushes? It's really more of a copse, so you know it's kind of it's good coverage. But as long as you stoop, you've actually got quite a lot of room there. Um, Amelia kind of uh, brushes some of the 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 ash and the the sort of rotten leaves away, uh, and there's a sort of passable little clearing that you can all sort of sit in a circle she says well frankly that that was quite scary you you did sort of get punted halfway across an infernal plane I, I mean it's I'm quite angry with you but it is good to see you um you should you should drink these they'll probably heal you if it's anything like the coffee um and she sort of she starts reading labels on bottles She's like, uh, which this one is uh, uh, bug juice. Who's who's is bug juice? Bug juice. Bug juice. Yep. Oh, okay, yeah. right. Uh, we've got. Uh, is this like soft and loft, Johnny? <laughs> Daddy like. Um, bug juice. It's uh, it, it's uh, I've got a com kombucha here. It's good. Uh, oh, maybe maybe with mushrooms. Tim, this must be you. Um, oh, he's re he reaches out. To get it. Oh, Tim loves some live cultures. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, Tim is mostly live cultures. <laughs> uh, this one says, uh, milk, but for big cats. That's I look around right. at, like, anyone else, like, waiting for somebody to put their hand up and claim it. Anyone? <laughs> uh, as you say, milk, like more boss reaches out, and then when you say for big cats, he quickly retracts his head. <laughs> um, you're like the kid, you're like the kid at assembly, his, like, name's been called out, and you're just sat there, like... Yeah. Uh, when nobody goes for it, I'll, I kind of shrug and just take it. Cool. Uh, this, this one says, uh, uh, fighting juice for really big, tough... Uh, T 
tieflings. There's only one of us who uh, who can stomach such a brew. I just take it. <laughs> you pop open, it's got a really floral aroma. <laughs> yeah, they taste like cream soda. It's milk. <laughs> you, you take a swig and it is indeed milk and you're like, oh, delightful. Um, Where has this milk come from? Hell cows. Demon yeah. cows. You, you already know that Yinigu can just summon, like, food and drink. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what is with you today? <laughs> no, I'm just like, I wouldn't drink milk if it was given to me in hell. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay, well, all right, now we all know that Fizz takes his coffee black. <laughs> <laughs> with bug juice. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, this one just says handsome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, t- I'll take that. Thank you very much. And I've got a fruity IPA. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Everybody, let's make uh, this is uh, effectively we'll call it a potion of greater healing. If you need healing, uh, roll, roll me four d four plus four. Ooh, Can I hold Jesus. on to mine yes, for later because I don't need healing? Yes. So. Yes. Four, that two, that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, also, um, uh, do I get my other wild shape back, please? Yeah, we can call this a uh, we can call this a long rest. Okay. I am back. Ooh, I'm back to my. Whopping ten hit points. Great. I am fully I got healed as well. Seventeen. Wow. Yeah, I got. A, I got a six. Uh, fifteen. Sorry. Cool. All good. I got. I think. Great. 30. I mean, if, oh, if we're calling this a long rest, everyone will be healed anyway. We'll Shout out to Sony Pops. So we'll just say like those potions are used up. That's what you heal. But Tim, you can also have your other wild shape back. That's fine. Yay! Well, about spell slots. Yeah, go on. Have a, everyone, yeah. everyone, refresh your stuff. I'm not sending you into yeah. to the Lictian unprepared. <laughs> um, Otherwise, we really will get licked. <laughs> I mean, especially since you use your spells to such great effect in the labyrinth. <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh, it was all according to plan. <laughs> we got through the labyrinth, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. If I survived <laughs> being, if I survived being kicked through by a giant then the feather wall would have really come in hand <laughs> <laughs> this is true yes can um can more boss kind of uh as he swigs the milk the fighting milk for very strong tieflings fighting milk. um fight milk can fight he milk. offer offer the bottle to farid and kind of in exchange of like i'd really like some of that handsome juice as well <laughs> <laughs> just like oh mm-hmm. sorry mate i've, I've I've downed it all. I, need, I needed it. I was thirsty. <laughs> but I appreciate Sorry, it. Sorry, actually, I mean, the, this one's four bodyguards, all? five bodyguards. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank, thank you, I suppose, for, you know, the the thing you did there. It's all right, you know. I'm just, uh, I'm just, I'm just glad you're doing all right, buddy. I'm glad, I'm glad you're uh, back on your feet. Me too. That's mm. it. He just... Drinks the rest of the milk quite in solemn kind of reflection of what's just occurred. Tim is just walking around holding his bottle. Not drinking from it, just walking around holding it. There's sort of <laughs> yeah. a, a vague sort of slushing noise, and no one's quite sure if it's coming from the bottle or the goblin. Um, Amelia, meanwhile, uh, is kind of like she's she's been parting and sort of re twisting some of the the branches of this bush uh, which is quite impressive because it's very thorny she's like this is all very touching but here look i uh, made us a little observation platform um from where you are in the bush you can kind of if you all sort of put your heads together in a twee sort of formation you can all see out you see the um the lictian stands before you the walls are sheer obsidian um cool. <laughs> unless i described them differently before in which case they aren't but sod it we'll say they are um and uh you can see already from here that the the stones fit together perfectly sort of like it's it's like they were supernaturally put together because they were uh and the only point of ingress you can see apart from scaling these walls which looks very very difficult is a drawbridge which is currently up um and there are sort of you, you can see there are chains sort of at the top that would kind of did, 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 let it come down. Um, that certainly seems to be your way in, but right now it seems shut up tight. Fareed, can you just make me um, just a wisdom intelligence check? Yes. Oh. 
16. Great. Um, you remember that it is not uncommon for Baphomet to send patrols of his sort of peons out into Avernus. He, even though he, you know, he has this palace where the main function of it is to punish people, he also really likes people worshipping him, even here uh, on this infernal plane. So he sends out basically groups of his devotees who are in various states of transformation into minotaurs. So he sort of sends out these ranging beast men. Uh, and they go scoop up the unwary. Uh, and they take them back to the Lictyon. You do not know what fate befalls them, but you know that uh, basically this... You 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 guess that this, um, this drawbridge is a way in and out for those patrols. So all you need to do is wait for one and then... Just sneak in with them. Shouldn't be a problem. Bob's your uncle. Fanny's your aunt. Nice. Is he? Is it... <laughs> oh, t- oh, uh, sorry, no, Tim wouldn't know that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Tim wouldn't know that, no. Oh. Don't medicate me. In. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean we're going to be able to see Minotaurs? I guess we'll see. I'm so excited right now. I can't control myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, Farid, that's you look at the drawbridge and you're like, oh, I always wondered where those screaming people who'd just been kidnapped went <laughs> and what was going on with them. Yeah, well, I guess that that's where uh, good old Johnny went many many moons ago. He was he was a good Johnny, he was a good egg. He was a he was a one of my best pals. Um, I'm sure he's fine. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, Farid, uh, how long have you been here exactly? Uh, I always got the opinion you you haven't been here too long, but it seems you form some sort of friendships, and uh, unfortunately, well, I, I can't imagine they ended well. I mean, you'd be surprised. You can find some, you know, some, I mean, what accounts as good, some good eggs in hell, I guess. Uh, I, can't, I don't know how long I've been. It's eternity. I have, like concept of time. It's all out the window. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, we should we should sneak in with the with the next group uh, to yeah nothing to read into there <laughs> <laughs> yeah no backstory there what's <laughs> going on? Right. Um, uh, so this patrol you're talking about um, what can we expect I mean if we were to sneak in with them um, what, what what you know what kind of patrols are we talking about um. So Farid, you know that they tend to bring along uh, a cart that is kind of just basically it's like a, f- a flatbed of a cart and then it's just a cell, like a big metal cage that they throw people into. Uh, but they are like, that's where they put most people, but they will also throw uh, either troublemakers or people they think might be a danger to other people in the cage. They will uh, instead tie them to stakes and carry them between them. Like hanging down, like, like they a, are. Like you're about to put them over a fire pit. Or something. Does mm, exactly okay. that. I'm, I'm assuming Farid tells us all this, right? What, yes. What <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I am sharing all this information with you. Uh, patrols, cages, spikes. You know. Uh, Would it be an idea yeah. for some of us to um, disguise ourselves as these guards? people and then I mean, minor <laughs> illusion or something or like i don't know somehow put together like a fake one of those carriages and just look ladies it's it's never gone wrong before like yeah. we've we've always had a hundred percent success rate with disguises so why why stop <laughs> matter i'm i've got such a good idea <laughs> Oh, we can do it in um, character, or we can do it not at all. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I said that in character. Mist, okay. do you? Do you yeah, do you say that? You, uh, yeah, and then blah blah blah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Tim, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Tim, uh, Tim said, "Well, uh, I think our previous attempts at s- stealth and uh, subterfuge have gone rather well, so I, I can't imagine this is going to go any different." Agreed. Uh, I certainly. Have some ideas up my sleeve, if you know what I mean. Doesn't involve being in a chest piece. <laughs> no, it does not, <laughs> actually. Uh, 
Freed, do you know what these minotaurs look like? Have you actually ever seen one in person? Draw me uh, a picture. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, draw us a picture, mate. Yeah, you, you yeah. sure you don't you you've not got too close to them before because you know you value your freedom. Yeah. But yes, you know you know what they look like. Seen them at a, a safe distance. Uh, you know, avoid them quite often. So I've already but, I've already fashioned a costume. I'm already I'm already dressed up as a as a minotaur. <laughs> so I've I've you know I've seen a few things in my life in the swamp. But uh, I can't say I've ever seen a minotaur. But from your description, it seems they are some form of of cow person. Johnny, Is this correct? Would Fizz know what a minotaur looks like? <laughs> um. Well, for Reed's drawn us a picture, no? Give me a history check. History? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, also, uh, Miss, can you just roll me a d20, please? Uh-huh. Uh, I've got a oh. whopping big eight here for you, mate. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> uh, a 15. Thank you. Oh, Lord, okay. <laughs> um, a whopping eight? Of course you know what a minotaur is. Um, they are um, a proud sort of... Uh, well, you don't want to call them a culture because to them, kind of, civilization is, is abhorrent. It's all about letting out your, your inner beast. Uh, but they are not without beauty because, uh, as you well know, uh, minotaurs exclusively talk in rhyming couplets. Yeah. Oh no. Like everyone. Well, I know what they look like. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh, of course you know what they look like. They're, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Sort of, myself it's one, then. okay. Yeah. It's like uh, <laughs> you. Yes. You, you, Fizz, believe you know exactly what a minotaur looks like. <laughs> Excellent. I have made myself look like that. Uh, Okie dokie. No. Via <laughs> magic. <laughs> so, according to your description, Farid, uh -huh. I imagine that my plan is going to entirely work. <clears throat> Based on uh, how previous plans with this group have turned out, uh, I wouldn't be too optimistic, but who knows? <laughs> You've got to be optimistic sometimes. For to be uh, fair, for me, you haven't really been there for the for the adventures where this stuff really worked. <laughs> you can trust us. On yeah, we, <laughs> oh. we, we've got a track I, record <laughs> now. Now disguised as what I assume is a minotaur, I, I look over and I'm like, "Listen, mate, we're professionals. <laughs> Don't worry about it." <laughs> Uh, it, oh, for E.T., no. he looks like looks like a minotaur that's like spent too long in the microwave, it's like <laughs> <laughs> droopy. Uh, um, yeah. Um, what, what about Lola? Like one of those horse Lola, costumes. How does Lola, but yeah, yeah, the other look. person? Yeah. Like, is she is she a, 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 um, has Miss got a pretty good uh, minotaur costume going, or is that she has actually? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, cool, cool. She has rendered herself as somebody who is toward the latter stages of the transformation. So we're talking like full on bull snout, horns that are actually kind of really getting there. Um, I am like, a professional. <laughs> there you go. Like abs you could peel potatoes on. Um, <laughs> and just like really long, like almost werewolf like legs. You know, where they've just got like that un unbelievably yeah. long thigh and the sort of the compressed calf. Mm. Um, um, no Tim is going to turn into a cow. <laughs> and a literal cow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a cow. Yeah. All right. That's fine. Uh, Amelia's gonna sit there and go. Oh. That. <laughs> yep. I... Uh, listen. Yeah. Is is the plan still? We're gonna sneak some of us in as as prisoners, or are we all are we all? Um, Tim both, can be both, a prisoner. Yeah. Well volunteered, Amelia. Well volunteered. No, that's exactly what I was doing. I'm. You all look Fantastic. ridiculous. Fantastic. <laughs> at, at this she... stage, uh, I would also volunteer to be a prisoner. Um, and I would like to be a bit distant from you, especially. I'll I'll, I'll stick with Mist. Uh, Fizz, you lead the way. You got it. <laughs> um, As the one with the best disguise, I suppose that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Morvos, what are you doing? Uh, well, oh, this is ridiculous. We're all going to be killed. I just line up begrudgingly next to Amelia and Fareed, knowing that it's. The only choice I have, really. I've just okay. realised as well that I said cow, but bull probably would have been a better choice. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> now I've said cow, I'm sticking to it. Uh, 
that's fine. Um, I thought you could yeah. only be a certain size also. I thought you could only be an animal of a certain size. It's a very I small mean... cow. <laughs> it's, it's a cow. A micro cow? Yeah, like a... Can I, go, can I carry not, the cow not, under my arm? Not to, not to insult this is my cows, son. Go on. but they're not exactly the most intimidating nor strongest of the animals out there. So I can't imagine to my son that there's going again. to be any sort of levelling problems with being a cow. So as long as Johnny's fine with that, then otherwise I'm happy to, to retcon. You're a slightly undersized cow. Yeah. There you go. It's Which stunted. is fair. It is hard for a cow to get a balanced diet in hell. <laughs> uh, although, you know, it really makes you wonder what this cow did to be condemned for <laughs> all eternity. But anyway, uh, Amelia goes, right, We well, let's go find some steaks. Um, steaks? She leaves um, oh, yeah, I'm starving. Um, <laughs> that, that's very insensitive to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, look, I meant wooden. I meant wood. Oh We've got. We're, we're surrounded by bushes. She right? starts sort of petting your your back, and it's like I meant wooden stakes. Tie. Move, move, t- yeah. yeah move. I'm like, okay. <laughs> wow. Oh boy. Um, she. We're surrounded, we're surrounded by like viney bushes, right? That's right. Yeah. I wonder if we could maybe rip some of these vines out and just sort of twist them all together to make kind of a some kind of stick like object. I mean, if you can, oh. if you can make a carrying pole from thorns, uh, be my guest. I'll give it a go. All right, I'll rip, I'll rip the thorns out. <laughs> okay, dokie. Uh, all right then, roll me a. Uh, we'll call this a deck sleight of hand check. Can I try yeah. as well? Yeah. I want to help. Or nature. Uh, they're both plus four. No, um, I'll help too because right. I've got. These are unnatural. Yeah, deck sleight of hand if you're making a, a carry pole. All right, uh, nine. That's a fourteen. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Uh, you so Farid, Morboss, and Mist. You all make tremendous uh, carrying poles. Uh, Fizz, you cut your hands up something fierce. You don't take any damage, but I just want you to bear in mind that your your palms really sting right now. It's uh, like you you never realised how citrusy the air was in hell. So you're like <laughs> ah lemon lemon. <laughs> uh, all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Just screaming like I think it just adds <laughs> Yeah, he's just I think it just adds the ex- the aesthetic really. Like yeah, there is there is a strange sort of minotaur ish figure just standing next to uh the Lictium just just mowing lemons <laughs> <laughs> martyring. Um and at one point uh he sort of throws his head back and really goes, Lemon And uh <laughs> to your surprise, all of you, you hear an answering call from uh, the other side of the moat. You hear a from like uh, a throng of voices. Um, I I call back, I'm like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> there is. How's the weather today? I, by, I, do, I do just want to point out as a Kenku, I can perfectly mimic their voices. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, Fine. In that case, there is like a, <laughs> um, and indeed, uh, they all kind of give a shout together, and then low drums start up. You hear a dong, dong, boom. Um, yeah. Oh, if, miss, if, miss, you got a drum, right? <laughs> oh, <all> right. <laughs> <laughs> kind of bloody barred, are you? Amelia, uh, Amelia says, "There's no time. Quick, everyone who's a prisoner, get on a pole." All right, I'm hopping on a um, pole. Okay. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> being carried by who's left? You! I throw dollars at him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, hold oh, up, wait, rail. hold on. Can we just can we just sort logistics here? <laughs> so you want me to lead the way, and then we've got one minotaur-looking person and a cow. Are they gonna hold one pole with both of the prisoners on it? Wait, yeah. It, so I think it was one one prisoner per minotaur, right? So if. Presumably, Farid is going with Mist. It, it is. <laughs> it is a, a carry between the shoulders situation. Mm. Okay. Uh, it's not unfeasible that somebody could have two poles. Like, oh lord. Okay. Oh, it's also yeah. a, a famously strong. Yeah, Mist. We're just gonna have to rock both of these, I think. <laughs> I so, mean, you could. I'm pretty you strong. Could try balance one on top of Tim. Maybe could, I don't you, know what that would do. I was gonna but... say, could I bind? very loosely so I can slip my hands and legs free but basically wrap some vines around my wrists and feet and then just kind of like slump over the back of the cow 
because I really don't <laughs> trust being anywhere. <laughs> okay, yes, that is fine. Nip is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In that case, it is just um, Farid and Amelia who need to be carried. Cool. Uh, of course, he has three prisoners. Oh, God. Yep, okay. yep. So, uh, Mist and Fizz, you are going to have to shoulder the weight here. I'm, yeah. I'm pretty strong, mm-hmm. so I can, I can take. Cool. Yeah, I'll let you bear the brunt yeah. of it. <laughs> okay. So, uh, what you're looking at now is uh, you've got you've got the moat um, sort of here, and you can just see the start of a patrol emerging. Um, there are, you know, you can see the shapes of, of beast men coming. You can see that some of them indeed have poles between them with uh, helpless individuals sort of strung underneath. And behind is a cage absolutely packed to the gills with poor unfortunate souls. Um, and I just yeah, realized I the height it, difference yeah. between Fizz and me would make this very funny also. Slanted. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's it's pronounced. Um, Fizz is there like... Um, like he's struggling under the weight, which he might be, who knows. Um, and you see basically that uh, you sort of notice in the dirt on the other side of the moat there is um, a path um, sort of beaten by worn by use in there and there is sort of an area that's very um, sort of uh, well worn by cloven hooves uh, and this is clearly like a landing stage while they wait for the drawbridge to come down so if you were you know it if you were completely invisible this would be no problem the drawbridge would come down you could sort of hop on the side the near side and just go in as it is like here like drawbridge is going to come down over the water the patrol's going to embark and start heading into the castle uh, and you're going to have to sort of maybe join on the end or go in the midst of them i don't really know that's for you to work out but that's (laughs) the lay of the land yes work out as we so often do (laughs) Yeah, let's. I, I'm going to start leading us towards them whilst continuing to move in the same ways that they did. The what, whatever. The, obviously, I don't understand what they're saying, but whatever sounded the most like excited and happyish. Would I you? Want that one. Okay. They are. They are speaking in abyssal, so happy and excited. Not really an option here. What they're saying it, is absolutely enthusiastic. Wild. Okay, <laughs> great. Um, more boss, you understand what they're saying, of course. Speaking of Bissell, Farid, do you speak of Bissell as well? Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't speak okay. of Bissell. Okay. Can um, I? Mm-hmm. If Fizz is close enough, can I kind of? Yeah, you feed me some lines. Yeah, right? tran- almost translate while slumped over the back <laughs> of this Tim cow. <laughs> yeah, and then I'll just mimic whatever you said perfectly, and it's fine. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, the, so the most recent call was prisoners coming in, you unmentionable expletives. Um, we've done a great job, you absolute ding bats. Hey, dinces. hey! <laughs> we, we're not translating the abyssal. Um, it, it, there's a line of, uh, of a, str- a string of vulgarities that leaves you feeling a little bit sick, Ooh. but you um, you feed it back to um, to to fizz. Uh, from above you on the wall, there is a trumpet. So, and then you hear a shout, which um, uh, from a voice which asks, "How many?" And there is a pause, and then a rousing shout from uh, the the patrol that just says, "Lots." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a rough number. And that's what's uh, going. Tim on. is Tim is also going to be moving. Okay. More in a cow way, I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah, in a kind of uh, imagine an evil cow. <laughs> imagine if you will <laughs> an evil cow. Okay, so um, after the shout of lots, the drawbridge starts, starts to <laughs> d- 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 slowly move down. Um, Amelia's like, "How long are we waiting? When are we joining with them?" Are we going to try and sneak in without them seeing? What's going on? I can't see. I'm, I'm already tied to a stake. Uh, yeah, I, th- I think we should just join. I think we should. <laughs> we should just join yeah. in. Let's just, just act natural. Well, not natural, but act unnatural. Uh, and then we'll, you know, we'll just look like everyone else. A- apart from the cow, obviously. But, <laughs> but uh, I think, I think it'll work. Tim moves. 
Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. <laughs> um, sure. So, are you going to leave the cover of the bushes? Yeah, yeah. I, okay. I'm just uh, as as calmly and coolly as as we can. I'm just going to try and lead laughing. the group, just to sort of like, you know, when people are just walking along, you're just like. Yep. <laughs> closer and closer and closer. So like yeah, we've been here the whole time. Uh currently the the drawbridge they've not reached the other side of the drawbridge yet, but the drawbridge is completely full of of, of beasts um and you know uh their captives. The the cart has yet to start riding on the on the drawbridge itself. Um how much mooing are we doing at this point? <laughs> yeah, I just wanna sort of echo whatever they're doing, like as close as I can, you know. I'm doing like as if oh, no, no, carry on. Yeah, as if I was already part of the group, but just a bit slow. I, I'm <laughs> not very good at like mimicking, but, so I kind of like make it more of a like a sing song moo. Like I'm, it's like mm. I've kind of made a song of the mooing in my head, and I'm kind of like just singing. It's like along. a call and response. Yeah. <laughs> Sound of moo. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Yeah, yeah. Tim is just mooing. That's a cow dance. Tremendous. Um. You hear uh, as Tin Tin the cow goblin lets out uh, <laughs> a moo. Uh, suddenly, you hear a, a shout from the front of the, uh, the the patrol, and they stop. And the one at the head turns and looks directly at Tim the goblin, and just goes in abyssal. Well, hello. <laughs> so Tim, to you, you just see. A, like a beast man look at you and go <laughs> um and uh i can i can i ask sorry hold on did i get the kind of vibe that he was is he like throwing a wink at the same time or is he just screaming at you the cow? didn't you don't speak abyssal so you okay. don't know uh I think more I'm boss. Just like more boss what's going on yeah <laughs> he's in he's into it yeah, I I think I'll just translate. So I guess I'll try and tell both Tim and Fizz. Well, you're on Tim, so that would be easy, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The thing is, I'm laughing so much because not only does Tim have to, like, process the idea that this Minotaur is into him, he also has to process the idea of people being into one another. <laughs> so now he... He has no concept of romance whatsoever. <laughs> it's, you know, so you've got to try and explain that in a way that Tim's going to understand. No one Tim, said it would be a gentle worry. learning curve. <laughs> don't worry, Tim. We'll, we'll handle this bit. More boss. How do, how do I say she's taken? <laughs> <laughs> oh. But you have to moo it. That's the abyssal. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Fizz, you 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 say it, and then you start sweating bullets. You're like, oh god, oh no, we're gonna get rumbled. That didn't sound like a rhyming couplet to me. Um, <laughs> I don't know how you rhyme. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just always have to rhyme moo with moo. It's easy. Yeah, I think yeah, that's fair. you you give more boss the couplets. He'll translate them as best he can. All right, got it. And okay. Then, uh, yeah. Wait, all right. I can retcon if you want. Yeah, yeah. Let's 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 have it. Let's have your let's have your rhyming rhyming couplet about a cow having a boyfriend. Uh, uh, I see your brow shaking, but back off. She's taken. <laughs> Nicely done. Yes. Very good. Okay, we'll flash forwards because it, it, it <laughs> actually that uh, accidentally Matt perfectly rendered that already in abyssal. So. <laughs> um, uh okay the the um the leader's like he yells back in a, a horrible trumpeting moo um more boss you you translate it that he's like all right but don't come crying to me when i challenge you to a duel and then gore you later that's it, not a rhyming you, you no it's not uh, yeah, I'm, I think I'm getting confused. I'm like, these guys speak weird. <laughs> well, you're, you think it? You think it might be something wrong with more bosses translation, actually? Uh, it's oh, like, okay. I bet you that rhymed beautifully in the original. Um, <laughs> but basically, yeah, it's he, he's half playfully, but mostly seriously, telling you that he's going to come challenge you later and, and take the cow for his own. Um, he's like, but anyway, 
more pressing matters um, <laughs> in in all of this in abyssal. Uh, don't remember you being part of my patrol. How come you're still out? Um, hang on. Wait for the more boss phone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I lost my nose hoop, but now we're back in the group. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Just to clarify, I've got I've got the classic Minotaur nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In my disguise. Uh, there's sort of a chuckle from from the ranks as you say it, and they're like, "All right, fair enough, fall in." <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was easy. Uh, I suppose. Who I mean, would who dare? would want to? Who would dare hmm? do this? Who would dare like exactly? Pretend, you know? Exactly. This is true. Um, so you start. They make space for you in the in the ranks, um, and. Uh, uh, I get more boss to translate for me. Um, right, let's keep moving and stop this standing. But thanks for being so understanding. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you're right. A rhyme standing with standing. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> oh wow! Um, as you start to join the bridge, you sort of you you file on. They make space um, begrudgingly for you wheels you sort of you're getting a lot of sideways looks and you you can't help feeling maybe you lost some status uh by admitting so casually to have lost your uh, to, to losing your your ring and having to find it again um could i also say that more boss uh tells fizz at one point that to fit in with the group uh what fizz should do is refer to all the minotaurs as cud buds yes <laughs> uh Fizz. Wow. I'm like, yeah, that rhymes. You yeah, learned an important <laughs> lesson here today. Uh, cud buds, they look out for each other, but they really? also uh, have fresh rhymes. Um, <laughs> but attention has actually been taken away from you um, as uh, Miss steps onto the drawbridge. Uh, there's actually a, a murmur that goes through the crowd, and a bunch of them step back and kind of like. They they nod their heads reverentially. The one who was talking to um, to you, Fizz, says, "Oh, Commander, I didn't realise you were here." <laughs> was that not the dice rolls for? <laughs> um, I am here, so what about it? Um, get on with your work and. Don't be a tit. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. I'm assuming that all went through more boss, right? Yeah, Can, yeah. Right. Always. Can I just say, I think my standing with standing rhyme is looking a little bit, <laughs> a little bit better under this new light. Look, no one's coming out well from this. Okay? <laughs> this is all your idea, Johnny. Yes, I know. So it much and of it was. work better than standing and standing. If and tit, don't rhyme. Yes, I do. It, it, not if. Oh, it. Sorry, my bad. Well, I mean, that's just the same as standing and understand. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, come on now. We can disagree on this matter. Anyway, I'm commander. So. No, me and this is very important. <laughs> um, I, I would like to just like march on ahead. Okay. Let's find out where I'm going. How far ahead? Are we talking? Are you just sort of moving up to the front of the group? Oh, are we like just? I thought we were still moving into this. You've place. all, you you're all now in. You're now all part of the 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 group of of guards. Congregation. I just meant. Are guards. you heading? Are you going ahead of everyone in the pack? Uh. Is what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Okie doke. Good luck with that, that one. Works out. <laughs> Okay, you start to move forward, and the guy who was talking to you sort of like throws a friendly arm around your shoulder. Um, oh. You notice that he is in an no, he's in as an as advanced a state of transformation into a minotaur as you appear to be. I put my and arm as you around move his forward, waist, just FYI. Yeah, as you, he sort of leans into you a bit, but as you start moving forward, he he um, starts talking to you in abyssal. Uh, more boss. 
please make me a wisdom perception check to see if you can still <laughs> hear this. Oh, wisdom. I'm great at that. Uh... <laughs> oh, no. You're so wise. I'm going to die. Oh, goodness. Well, I rolled a four. And of course, as the YouTube comments know, my wisdom is minus one. <laughs> so that's a three. You can't hear this. Uh, you, so, uh, Mist, you hear like a, a long stream of like... <laughs> And like low rumbles, and it's basically abyssal through the mouth of a, a cow. Um, and then there's sort of there's a pause as you're like, any second now, more bustle just translate <laughs> for me. And then the moment stretches as you realise that perhaps striding forward confidently with your new buddy has put you out of earshot. I'm gonna uh, just do a low grunt. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Make me a charisma performance check, please. <laughs> if you're not Come good on, at this, ladies, I don't know. Yeah. Come on, you're a bard. You can do this. Yeah, performance is You were born for, for this. It's a 15. Born for this, yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, there, is, there is a pause, and like you feel hot, sort of, uh, sort of like humid breath. humid breath fall on your face as the the commander kind of <sighs> snorts outward and then throws his head back and he's like <laughs> <laughs> and behind you you hear a bunch of them be like <laughs> <laughs> and you, for a second you're like oh we're all gonna die and then you realize that this is what passes for laughing for them um and uh, as you you start to proceed into the um, into the uh, sort of tunnels, or well, not into the tunnels, you, you proceed through the archway, and you are now inside the Lictian. Um, and you just see it's it's a bunch of corridors and just endless doors, very large doors, you know, very tall ones uh, to fit horned tall beasts. I was going to say, do they have the little holes to just? Slot <laughs> <the doors? laughs> uh, it's, they're more just very, very high because, uh, as you've already noticed from the guards, like horns come in lots of shapes and sizes, and it's simply not practical. Like it's not one size fits all. Some of them curl, some of them, you know, are like uh, water buffalo, kind of in that like neat central parting <laughs> with lots of pomade kind of horn weight. <laughs> um, Daffodans. But the um, you hear the commander. Uh, that's currently very chummy with mist raw across the room be like right um, start processing the initiates I'm off for a drink with this one. Oh no um oh god okay fine I, well, I don't know what he said so you don't right now I just stand there and kind of like um, look at the people he's... like earnestly <laughs> Yeah, he's stopped and turned and he's kind of got an arm around you. And he's like, I'm off for a drink with this one. And you see sort of the the group sort of breaks up and they start just sort of bustling around. They start leading the um, the cart off to one way and the, the people with the poles sort of start to follow. But no, it's not like, no one's marching. They're kind of just like loping off, really. Johnny, I just have a quick question. Mm -hmm. um, I'm currently... Uh, joint holding two poles across my shoulders and mists. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> am I am I following? <laughs> you currently you currently are standing behind them, but um, you see the commander like looks down, looks at uh, at mist, and he's like, mm -hmm. and sort of makes a motion, be like, come on, you can you can get rid of those now. I like it's just I um, slowly lower the pole. <sighs> okay. So you've, uh, with you, you've got Amelia and Fariz. I think it's not, it's not outside the realm of possibility that, that Tim the Cow Goblin can wander over, sort of. Because I think it, obviously it would be death for anyone to just try and wander off by themselves. Um, Tim the Cow Goblin, it, you may, if you want to, go up to the rest of the group with more boss on your back. Um, yeah, no, Tim is very much following. Okay. So everyone's kind of together, and the commander's like, "Ha!" Waiting, basically waiting for you to dismiss your troop, so you can go off and have a drink together. Um, more boss, could Hello. you make me? We'll call this. Hmm. 
gonna be a s <laughs> face. We'll call this either <laughs> um, a stealth check or a performance check to try and whisper frantically to Mist and catch her up. Performance on. would do nicely. Okay, that's yeah, good. Um, that's an eight. <laughs> <laughs> that was with a plus three. Okay. Oh wow. Uh, <gasps> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a there's a moment where the commander sort of looks to see that everyone is is going about their stations, and in that split second, mist, you see Morbos raise his head and go, "Psst, everyone's getting pints," and then ducks back down again. That's all the information you have to go on right now. Um, okay. The commander turns to you and says again in a in a bit, like more bossy here is like, well come on then dismiss 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 your lads and and we'll go get okay. that drink. I has more like... boss been? Oh sorry, carry on. My bad. <laughs> I would like to cast speak with animals. Does that work? Let's because it says it it just it only refers to communicating with beasts. It doesn't actually say. This is a monstrosity, so oh, it would not work. Oh. I'm afraid. Damn it! It's very rude of the robot. You'd be able to talk yes. to Tim though. I uh, yeah, but that's not good, is it? <laughs> you don't speak a bit. <laughs> just translating through a cow, has, a tiefling, and a minotaur. I would then instead. Has, has, has Morbos been like translating all of this to us? Um, is it just Low Lucy's out of earshot now? You mean Mist? Uh, Mist, sorry, yeah. Um, you called more, me more boss. <laughs> Yeah, but, you know. <laughs> I, I, I am a meta individual. Like, I can address people by their actual name. Um, more boss. Uh, would you have been translating this, do you reckon? Uh, I think I would translate it as far as going, Oh, God. Cat's going to get us killed, and that's all that the rest of the group hears after each, <laughs> oh, wow. after each sentence that's said. Excellent. I love yeah, it. Yeah, that makes sense. Absolutely. Absolutely. Sorry, sorry, ladies. Carry on. Can I cast Charm Person on my good friend, my new friend? Uh, yes, you may. Does it have to be a person? <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, let's see. That's, that's well, I mean, oh, I yeah, try and cast so. it on the um. It, this is a humanoid. Oh, okay. Then, yes. I'm yeah. just right. remembering what happened when someone tried to do this last time. Yep. Uh, so yeah. It's all I got. It's all Who I got. could it be? In fairness, Who the wisdom saving be? throw will be higher. So what's the <laughs> wisdom <laughs> saving <laughs> throw I need to make? Sorry? What's the wisdom saving throw I need to make? Oh. Uh, 12. What's your spell save DC? 12. Okay, 12. All right. How's your wisdom saving throw 12? And mine's nine. Actually, I know exactly how, please. Yeah. I can comfortably tell you that a five will not do it. I mean, he was oh. already quite chummy with you, but now he's like... Well, I'm just hoping that if I mess up, that he just like lets me get away with it. Also, I would now like to turn around to... Um, Morbos and ask him to tell me how I can ask this man if I can bring this prisoner along with me. Talking about more of us. Uh, you. I guess you'd need to get close to me, right? You're a little ways away. Yeah, I'm gonna come yeah, over that's... to you. Okay. Okay. Sure. Um, <laughs> I mean, I would just tell you. I can tell you an abyssal. Go for it. Which is like. <laughs> I go back and I go. <laughs> back to the man, my friend. Hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay. You so don't need that one translating. <laughs> no. Uh, Morbus comes with me. And my new friend. Okay. That means Tim's oh, coming yes. with you. Oh, yes. I it's will Tim's hold him. Oh, no, wait, no, he's on the cow. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Tim will, like, carry Morbus for me. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> we split the party then. Oh, um, God. So. <laughs> That's not my last time. Tim the cow goblin and uh, Morbus the would be prisoner and um, uh, Mist the <laughs> unbelievable Minotaur commander all uh, like lollop off to um, what just basically they go off through a door um, 
it is it, it's the strangest thing happens actually as you start to travel down this corridor the three of you um the leader sort of is just walking perfectly normally as if this is you know an everyday occurrence this corridor is obscenely long like it it has doors as far as the eye can see there is a vanishing point into which that you know you assume there's more corridor but you can't tell um he leads you approximately 175 doors down it takes seconds like initially the doors are going past at a normal like door rate and then suddenly it's like <laughs> Just your average door rate. Yeah. yeah. And you are just walking. You are walking at a normal pace. You don't feel any acceleration, anything Doors like that. Per minute. Suddenly, yeah, 175 yeah, DPM. Yeah. DPM. Yeah. It does take you about a minute. Uh, and uh, you can have inspiration for that one. Um, yes. Uh, uh, and he then just opens a door, and there is um, a room with just sort of a very, very large uh, sort of beaten brass bowl in it um, with some form of very strong smelling intoxicating liquor and there are like wooden bowls around the place and he just like he scoops one up at will and just like dips and drinks long um, it's kind of like uh, what is that booze that's made from yak milk it's oh. incredibly uh, <laughs> oh is it coming uh -huh. Is it kumis? Yes, uh, yes, yeah, kumis. It's like a, it's a fermented dairy product, traditionally made from mare's milk or donkey milk. Um, so yeah, it's it's basically a fermented sort of milk beer, and he sort of tips it, and you see his throat working as he takes this incredibly long draft. It runs down his jowls and starts to mingle with the blood that is slowly congealing on his chest. Uh, once again, I'm, I'm <coughs> horrified to ask where this milk has come from. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. you, <laughs> you, don't, you actually don't want to think about this one. Before yeah. you're like, I think the milk is fine. I mean, I'm not even right. here, so I don't know. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Indeed. Um, so, and then he, he just goes, smacks his lips and dips another bowl. And it's just like, it's like, uh, in a bistle, it's like, make yourselves at home. I would like to take some of the milk in the bowl and like <laughs> like that um <laughs> does it taste nice uh it is definitely an acquired taste <laughs> it you're kind of like but you can Wait, you can but how's this it acquired it <laughs> you still have your cat like tabaxi i guess you're just wearing a disguise right so you've yeah. still got the tabaxi tongue yeah <laughs> whatever that you is you see you look up from like you see the commander there just like just staring yeah uh, I'm looking into I his say, eyes while I drink I say quickly to Mist uh, like in Abyssal I say tell, tell them it's, it tastes better this way which is like God. He takes a bowl and just like, bleh, like lollops a massive oh, cow's yeah. tongue into the bowl, oh. and he's just like, blah, 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 blah. and he's sort um. of just splashing it up into his own face. He's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's just like, blah, blah, blah. slap, just um. slapping the water, not the water, the the the, the booze. Milk. Milk. Yeah. Uh, can Tim? So this 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 milk is stored in a big vat on yeah. the floor. Yeah, it's like a big, a, a giant, like an enormous punch bowl. It comes up to everyone's like hip. Oh, okay. Can Tim? I don't know. If Tim can put his head inside. You'd have to sort of lift. And... Yeah, yeah. He's gonna do that and have a little <laughs> little taste himself. He roars. The 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 guard roars approvingly. He's like, "Look yeah, at this yeah. one, go!" <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, the way that the guard said, make yourselves at home, was it easy to read whether that meant everyone? Because obviously I'm still tied up on the back of this cow, which is not particularly at home. <laughs> um, you don't know. If, um, okay. Make me just make me a, an intelligence check. Oh, just straight no. in, intelligence. Intelligence. Uh, da, da, da. That is... <laughs> That's a, oh. I mean, it's a nat one, so it's a. Of course, a he meant you. Oh, no. <laughs> of course, 
He's used the plural, yourselves. Oh. Sure, How could okay. that not include you, more boss? All right, I immediately slip out of my bonds and get <laughs> and stand up on the floor. <laughs> Having misread this as make yourself at home, and I proceed to then just take a scoop of this drink. Oh wow! What's your armor class? Oh, it's fourteen. <laughs> oh, um, the guard, without hesitating, just steps over and just punches you straight in the stomach. Uh, I would like you to take uh, only two points of of, um, of damage, but. Um, yeah, he knocks the wind out of you. Okay, I and, like he roar, he roars in your ear, and it's not in abyssal. It's just a roar of pure beast rage. Morbus puts his bonds back on and gets back over the back of the cow. <laughs> 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 Sorry, sir, I'll go back in the bonds. He laughs grimly to himself, it's like <clears throat> it's a big snort of laughter, and then you just hear more. <laughs> noises as he tries to have a drink in this new and fascinating way uh, we will leave we will, we will leave our milk sommeliers there for the moment <laughs> milk sommeliers um, so Fizz you are now in an empty yeah. corridor with yeah. two sort of poles with prisoners on them well, um, we're, we, we kind of were forced to follow the other people who were bringing the prisoners right? no it was assumed okay. that you would see to it yourself. Um, oh, of course. And yeah. you are obvious, like, A, it's like, you're starting, now that you're looking around, you see how Miss has been treated. You're starting to get the feeling you have disguised yourself as a guard or a, a, a beastman that is particularly low down in the pecking order. Yeah, no, so nobody's, no, I'm, I'm getting that. Yeah. Nobody's that inclined <laughs> to help you. Also, um, these are two quite heavy stakes. So even if you wanted to go I'm, that way... I'm dragging them. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it does occur to you that there is now nothing stopping you from freeing your prisoners and starting to sneak about if that's what you wish. What? Can, can I just open the nearest door and see what's in these things? Yeah, sure, if you like. Yeah, I'm going to keep them on the stakes just for now, just in case. There's a little bit more cover than <laughs> just, just like walking around. Propping them up against the wall. I'll be back in a second. Oh, just like... <laughs> And then just like using my elbow, just like put the, the handle on the door down. I'm very confused okay. by this whole ordeal. I'm just like, Birdman, what are you doing? What are you, what's going Wouldn't on? Wouldn't there be knobs? Shut up! <laughs> um, hang on one sec. I just need to look something up. Oh. Johnny's just checking if it is handles or knobs. It's door knobs. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> handles or knobs. The, the age old question. <laughs> I can inform you that actually the doors here are neither handles nor are they door knobs. They are bulkheads. Like that. So it's like a, a wheel that you sort of you spin. Oh, God. It's like we're in a submarine. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. So I prop the I prop the prisoner sticks up against the wall. Mm -hmm. uh, and just start. <laughs> you, like I'm in a 2005 video game. The second, the second <laughs> you do... Um, you have to let go suddenly because it's like you imagine the friction burn would have been intense because the bulkhead just starts <laughs> Ooh, yeah. by itself and then the door goes like <laughs> yeah I look very impressed with myself I'm like <laughs> the door swings open and there is a second where Fizz is like ah! and then you um, and Farid and Amelia uh, still on their their, their sticks I don't know if they'd see because they're propped off against the wall pointing the other way. <laughs> oh, what, whether they'd see you looking satisfied? Yeah, or anything in the door. No, yeah. uh, well, um, you don't get much of a chance to see either because you are forcefully pulled into the room oh, okay. by an unseen <laughs> hand. You are Good. snatched from the corridor and you hear a boom as the door closes behind <gasps> you. Um, With the sticks or just me? With the sticks and the prisoners. With the st okay, All three of you are there. I'm not splitting Gosh. the party that many times. Yeah, three ways. My <laughs> um, God. It is dark for a moment, and you can just hear yourself sort of breathing softly. And then <laughs> there is a, a sudden, huge, enormous spotlight lands on the floor. Um, everything is black in this room, apart from this, uh, this band of light, which is probably about 30 foot across. And in the middle of it stands a man with a ragged sort of red coat and a top hat that looks like it is being to get held together by sheer force of will and dirt and he has a long lash in his hand um, and sort of as you sort of pull yourselves together um, you know Farid and Amelia are kind of craning to see this guy um, 
something emerges from the darkness behind him. You see this enormous leg sort of come down and land softly on the sand. Um, it has black claws glittering. And then as it sort of pauses, a second goes, and then a third, as a roving mauler just kind of cartwheels itself in no. and starts car- basically cartwheeling around the outside of this beam of Very light. quick question, very quick question. I dread to <laughs> ask, but go on, what is it? As, it? as it's whirling around, do we see both sides of it? Yes. <laughs> does it have a cloaca? <laughs> no. It doesn't, Damn it! <laughs> it doesn't have a cloaca. Well, uh, that's my plan, Everyone wants- Dean, you might not... <laughs> Are you aware of a roving mauler? No, please enlighten me. (laughs) So a roving mauler is basically, uh, it is like someone has made a cartwheel out of a lion. So you've got a central (laughs) hub, and then there are lion legs all facing one way. So it can just like roll, endlessly cartwheeling. And in the center, facing outwards, is a massive lion's head. So it's like the lion is constantly rolling to one side. Right. Um... And currently, it is just doing the rounds. Um, you hear it sort of breathing in a, a low, like, predatory sort of way. Um, the stink of, of just its musk starts to reach you. Um, uh, the the ringmaster twitches a hand. Um, Fareed, you feel your bonds snap. And you're able to move again. And uh, he kind of just smiles with a rictus grin straight at all of you and says amaze me and that's all he says okay uh i think i think i freeze for a second and then just spin round to fareed uh and i'd probably just get rid of the disguise at this point because like it's quite clear that it's not going to do anything for us Uh, i'm just like okay i don't think we've got much time to work out a plan here mate uh i am <laughs> I am going to <laughs> pull out my scimitar, not to initiate an attack. I'm pulling out my scimitar, and I'm going to start getting in, like ready to do some kind of like tango form of like dancing with the sword. You you, you know what I'm on about, like the very choreographed yeah, yeah, yeah. like mm. stuff. Uh, and then I'm going to start. I'm stealing this from a TV show. I'm going to start like mimicking <laughs> uh, the movements of of what was it called again? Rover. Uh, the roving mauler. Roving mauler. I'm going to start like the the circular movements that it's doing. My choreographed scimitar dance tango that I'm doing is kind of like m- like going in, in in time with. So it seems like I'm tangoing with the roving mauler. <laughs> At the same time, I use prestidigitation to make bursts of confetti blasting up behind him and sparks, and maybe I'll use minor illusion to get some kind of like flamenco music playing as well. Okay, sure. Both of you make me a. Do you have performance, uh, Fareed? Uh, I, I, it's low, but I, I, it's there. <laughs> Okay, I would like for you to use performance. Could you both, me, both make me a charisma performance check, please? Um, well, as I'm doing magic. You can have inspiration, <laughs> by the way, for three. Uh, okay, <laughs> cool. Thank oh, you. you're doing magic. Oh, okay. All right, in that case... Um, Arcana? <laughs> <laughs> It really is a performance check. I'm afraid okay. you are, you are <laughs> putting on a show. <laughs> Trying to find something that isn't plus. I could, Magic isn't into that. Any, any chance I could cheat my way with acrobatics being how it's a choreographed tango. Dance acrobatics. <laughs> We're turning this into place of the park. Like, we just we pick the skill. <laughs> yes, I'm 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 well aware of that. Flashback two days ago. I tell you, you guys suck. Um, yeah, go on then. You can use acrobatics. Oh God! But, but okay, Fizz, one hundred percent using performance. I got twelve. For okay, performance. great. Yeah, Wills, you got to give him the old razzle dazzle. The old uh, razzle dazzle. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yeah. Um, it is like astounding. Um, genuinely, the the show takes the ringmaster's breath away. You hear, um, like. Little, uh, uh, like you, Jamie, you hear him gasp and then he's holding his breath. 
as um, the rhythmic padding of the um, the roving mauler's feet, they sort of get syncopated with the sounds of uh, the scimitar flashing through the air and kind of making like cuts and little puffs of confetti and flamenco music. And flamenco music. So it's like, <laughs> da, 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 like getting all woven into this beautiful sort of syncopated rhythm. Um, Farid ends up joining in like on the edge of the, the beam of light and the, the mauler and Farid starts circling one another. Um, it's as if their predators gearing up for, for a fight. Um, this goes on for, you're not sure how long, but it is, you know, while you are aware that you are in considerable danger, it is um, a joy. It's like an ecstasy. Um, you could have been doing it for 20 seconds. It could have been hours. You're not sure. But in the end, uh, the, the ringmaster whoosh, cracks a whip and um, everything stops. The roving mauler pauses, kind of like its head at a half canter. Um, you know, your magic snuffs out. Uh, Farid lands on his feet, sort of slightly breathless, but otherwise fine. Um, I use he... minor illusion to make the sound of applause. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you make the sound of applause. The ringmaster... Uh, looks straight at you reaches out as if to pinch something and you feel a sort of jolt inside you it's like he's he's picked up your minor illusion 